Hello everybody. What I'd like to do is give families a little two minute inside video of what it's like in Fort St. James under, at our high school under the COVID rules. So this video is gonna show you kids doing things in the hallway, it's gonna show you lunchtime things, it's going to show you um, probably some stuff um, in the classroom, and I'll give some little information near the end about what I need people to do for homework when kids are away from school. Okay, so right now we are in Mr. Ogie's Senior Math 12 class. And the reason I brought everybody here, because I want to explain a little bit about how our cohorts work at Fort St. James Secondary. So as you can see, I'm wearing a mask, but none of the students are wearing a mask. The reason the students aren't wearing a mask here is because this is their learning cohort, and so they're safe together. Myself, I'm in everybody's cohort, so I will always wear a mask. And I'm happy to say that these grade 12s are taking their work seriously and working very hard. So well done, guys. So one thing we do at Fort St. James Secondary is when we're in the hallways, we all wear our masks. So as you can see, our grade 8s, they're all wearing our masks. They're just on a little break from gym class. They came out to get a drink of water, and they're being safe, and they're wearing our masks. So thank you, grade 8s, for showing us the video, for helping us here, and for wearing your masks. Okay, you guys can head back to class. Thank you. Bye. So now we've brought you inside the gym for the grade 8 PE class. Now if you look behind me, you can see the grade 8s are obviously playing basketball and having a lot of fun. They're not wearing their masks either because this also is their learning cohort. Grade eight stay together, that keeps them safe. I'm still wearing my mask because I'm in everybody's cohort. So what you're going to watch here is a three-on-three -three basketball. So even though we have COVID, we still have in-house community athletics going on. Mr. Woodall has organized this. This is our senior kids' plan. So another way at the school here, how we keep everybody safe, is our amazing custodial staff. Here we have Sandra. She has her spray gun, and after every gym class, she has this and she'll spray everything down. So as you can see, we're just in the shop class and all the kids in there, since the shop classes are grade 9 to 12, all the students there wear their masks because it's cross cohort and that's how we keep them safe in there. Another great uh, safety feature we have here at Fort St. James Secondary is our cohort washrooms. So if you notice, this is for the grade 8s and over there is for the 11 12s. I'm actually quite, uh, quite happy and proud of our new washrooms. They are redone this, this summer. Beautiful marble, full stalls with doors wall to wall. Um, they're gorgeous. Some of you just interest where we are in the school. Some of your grandparents might remember this as the old boot room from back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. But there are learning cohort washrooms and they keep everybody safe. So this lineup, which isn't here right now, but if you look down, you see these red dots. It's probably the most important lineup in the school because this is the lineup where kids go to get their lunch at the concession. The red dots are six feet apart and we go from dot to dot to dot. So as everybody can imagine, there's lots of students missing school now for logical reasons. COVID is keeping a lot of us at home. And what this does is this gives lots of phone calls about what am I supposed to do for my homework? My best advice is if you're going to be away for an extended period of time, so over a week, please phone me at the school and I will contact your teacher and we'll work out a plan. There's the main option for students who are away is there'll be a plan provided by the school's school district for your, for your work. So if you're going to be away for an extended period of time, the best thing is just to phone the school and talk to me and I'll put you on the right path. <laughs> 